Hello and welcome to Fauma IT Training Services. I am CC Fauma Obin, the principal consultant and the founder for this institution. And I just want to talk to you about terminal report systems for schools. We've worked on a generic template, um, which is just one Excel workbook. So when you get that workbook, you just need to enter the details of your student. And once you're done with the entries, you send it to us and we'll generate the report for you at a very minimum fee. So let me quickly demonstrate what we have. And if you're interested, I'll share a link to this particular template you download, then you make the necessary edit, then you can sign up for this particular program. Yeah, so this is the template. I'm very simple and straight to the point. So this is what we've done um, for whichever class you wish to generate a report for. The first thing you do is to come to details of students. So that's the first thing, let's say if it's for first time you are developing or you're generating because at the end of the three terms, you will generate the cumulative record for you. So you click on details of students, it takes you to where you have to enter the details. So if let's say this is for class A of let's say primary six, then I'll just type the name of the individual, which is me. Then what's the total attendance for the term? Let's say 50. Then out of the total, I was present for about 38. So the system calculates the number of you know, absent. So which class am I currently in? Let's say six, a and the date that this uh, report is being generated which is today 5 13 2021 then i skip or i just i just write um 13th may 2021 like that then the term so i'm looking at term one the next term begins somewhere in let's say um first September 2021. So once I'm done, the system automatically calculates, uh, populate it with this by default. Then the academic year is what, 2020, 2021. And I come to what, conduct, attitude, and interest. So with a conduct, attitude, and interest, I have some, you know, predefined list. So if you think uh, you don't need any of these, you can just go in there make certain changes to it and later you come back you come back to this session you click on the conduct for this particular student then you scroll up then you pick one as a class teacher then interest um, you go up so you just you just basically have to go through this so once you are done what's the total raw score so for all the subjects let's say if it's about 10 that should be over a thousand that's it so you can just come in here and make changes to this particular section of the details of students. So once you finish with class A, you click, it takes you back to the dashboard. Then let's say I'm, I'm entering for class B, it takes me to class B list. Then this is where the list appears. So this is basically how you go about with the entry of the details of students for the generation of the terminal reports. You click, it takes you back. So you just have to be doing that for all the classes and for their respective subjects. So this is subject one for computing. So you can delete it and just type it in any order of your choice, but make sure whatever scores you are entering is for that particular class and it's for that particular subject. So that's uh, basically it. So once you finish, um, let me show you the template that we've created so that you see if you can adapt it to your school, or if you want certain changes made to it, we can do that for you as well. Okay, great. So this is um, the template. So for our template, we can just come in here. I'll, I'll give you this uh, particular wide format to make the necessary changes. So you type the name of your school, the address, the number, the email address, then you can change these logos and uh, that will be it. Then maybe we will need the signature of the head 
um, teacher. So once you send that to us, we will fix that, or you can fix it in this particular template. So once you finish entering everything for all the respective classes in that particular form, the system will generate your 50% class score, exam score total, it will give you the grade, the grade meaning the position in that particular subject for that particular class. Then you also look at the position in that particular subject for the entire form. So if you have a form with about five classes, A, B, C, D, E, then you get to know the position in that form. Then teachers initials, if you don't want it, you can just delete that particular column of this particular template. So after you finish with the entry, the system will just automatically generate the report for you. All you need to do is send as that you know Excel template that I showed you earlier. So I'll definitely share it with you via a link to Dropbox. You go there, you download. So that's um, basically it. So if you think um, you want to change or make changes to this particular original design, we can do it for you. So after you finish with everything, we will, we will get to know the respective averages for all the subjects in the class and in the entire form. So get in touch, then we'll give you a quotation Then we can um, work together and make the work of teachers easier. So before I go, and I know Ghana Education Service teachers are being asked to do professional develop, development courses. So our organization um, has an accreditation with CertiPort where we deliver internationally recognized you know, certification programs like the Microsoft Certified Educator. So I'm going to show you the pricing um, in just a moment. Okay, great. So this is our website. Then we have the Microsoft Certified Educator. So if you want to enroll, you just need to get your exam voucher and the practice test material. Then we will take you through over a one month period, prepare you to get certified with Microsoft. And these are some of, you know, our certification world, those who have engaged with us in terms of professional development. So I just wanna show this to you quickly. Then you can uh, take a look at the certificate. And it's totally legit. It comes from Microsoft directly. So the Microsoft Certified Educator, Microsoft Office Specialist, we have the Microsoft um, Technology Associates, we have the IC through digital literacy. So if you're interested in developing professionally and improving your IT skill set, to globally recognized standards. Just get in touch with us and we will help you. So just take some time, go to our website, fitgh.net and browse through our content. And I'll be on standby to clarify any issue. Thank you and please do well to share this with a friend or with a colleague. Bye-bye.